Hi, I'm Joe Landry, and this is a presentation about the railroad in North Attleboro, Massachusetts. There were four railroad lines that passed through North Attleboro. The first one was the Attleboro Branch Railroad, which connected North Attleboro to Attleboro. The second one was the Rhode Island and Massachusetts Railroad, which passed through the Adamsdale section of North Attleboro. The third one was the Old Colony Railroad line from Norwood that made a connection to the Attleboro Branch Railroad. The fourth one was the New Haven Railroad line that established a connection between the Old Colony Railroad in North Attleboro and the Rhode Island and Massachusetts Railroad at Adamsdale Junction. The first railroad line that we'll discuss is the Attleboro Branch Railroad, which was established in 1871. It began at a freight house and depot, which was located on South Washington Street in North Attleboro, and was connected to the Boston and Providence Railroad line at the end of Peck Street in Attleboro. This is the freight house and depot that was located on South Washington Street, near today's Holbrook Avenue. It was destroyed by fire on February 10, 1893. This detail was taken from the 1885 Sanborn Fire Insurance Map of North Attleboro. The arrow is pointing to the freight house and passenger depot on South Washington Street. The detail also shows a locomotive house with a turntable and two sets of tracks leading up to the house. In addition, East Street is shown where it terminated at the coal yard that was operated by W.H. Riley and Son. The locomotive house was the scene of an unfortunate incident that happened on the first run of the railroad. As the train approached the depot, it was mistakenly directed across the train table into the locomotive house. The engineer was obviously taken by surprise, and as a result, he was unable to stop the train before it crashed through the house and ended up on the front lawn of the home of H.F. Barrows, which was across the street from the depot. This detail was taken from the 1889 Sanborn Fire Insurance map, and it shows three sets of tracks leading up to the locomotive house, indicating that the house had been expanded. In later years, East Street would be extended to Chestnut Street. This is from the 1894 Sanborn Fire Insurance map, and it shows that a new freight house has been constructed where the train depot was located. The depot had been destroyed by fire the previous year. This 1895 map of North Attleboro shows the Attleboro Branch Railroad line highlighted in blue. It crossed over the Ten Mile River and Jefferson Street and ran along the left side of Chestnut Street. In the mid-1930s, East Washington Street was created as part of the Route 1 bypass project. The red line shows where that new section of road was constructed. The portion of Jefferson Street that is shown in this detail became part of the newly established East Washington Street, and Jefferson Street was terminated in its present location. The Attleboro Branch Railroad line is highlighted in blue as it crossed over Chestnut Street and ran along the right side of Elm Street. The streetcar tracks can be seen in the detail as they ran down Elm Street towards Mount Hope Street. The rail line that is highlighted in red is the Old Colony Railroad line from Norwood, which connected to the Attleboro Branch Line in 1892. The red arrow points to the place where the railroad line passed over Mount Hope Street on a railroad trestle and continued towards Commonwealth Avenue we were across the road at grade. The Falls Village Station was established near this intersection. The streetcar track can be seen passing under the Mount Hope Street trestle and turning onto Commonwealth Avenue on its way to Attleboro. This is the Falls Village Station near Commonwealth Avenue. This detail
detail shows the railroad line as it passed over a town street. And this detail shows the railroad line as it enters Attleboro and makes the connection with the Boston and Providence Railroad. Now we'll examine views that were taken from Google Earth. This is South Washington Street with Holbrook Avenue in the right side of the picture. The red box indicates the approximate location of the freight house and depot. The arrow shows where the rail line crossed over the 10 Mile River. Recently, I went down to that area to see if I could find any evidence of a bridge in that location. Right now I'm standing next to the 10 Mile River and just over there is Holbrook Avenue. And down here I can see some stone walls. Oh, it looks like the what's left of something, some kind of a stone wall. And so my guess is that this is where the train went across the 10 Mile River. It's kind of a guess, but I'm looking at, I see some st square things in the water that probably were stanchions of some kind of a bridge. So I'm, I'm thinking that this is where they are, that this is where the trains crossed over. I think that's a safe bet. This picture shows the railroad line crossing over Route 1 and running beside Chestnut Street. Here we see the railroad line shown in red as it crossed over Chestnut Street as it ran toward Mount Hope Street, as seen by the arrow. This picture shows the rail line crossing Mount Hope Street and going toward Commonwealth Avenue. The red arrow is where the rail line crossed over Commonwealth Avenue. The blue arrow is where the rail line crossed Town Street. This is Town Street in North Attleboro. And this is where the train came from North Attleboro Center. And passed over Town Street. And went towards Attleboro in this direction. The arrow shows where the rail line passed under Freeman Street. This is Freeman Street in North Attleboro. And this was the, the direction that the trains came when they came from North Attleboro Center. And went on towards Attleboro in this direction. This picture shows the rail line passing over Deanville Road. This is Deanville Road in Attleboro. From this direction, the trains came from North Attleboro, crossed over the road, went down this direction towards Attleboro. This is where the rail line passed over West Street. This is West Street in Attleboro. And it was from this direction that the trains came from North Attleboro. Crossed over this road on at grade and went towards Attleboro in this direction. This is the place on North Main Street with a rail line passed over the road at grade. This is the R.F. Simmons Company, which was on North Main Street, where the rail line passed over the road.
Right now I'm standing on South Main Street in Attleboro. And this is where the train crossed over. It came from North Attleboro from this direction, crossed over North Main Street, and traveled on toward the Attleboro line. The railroad line passed over Bank Street, as seen in this picture. The arrow points to the place where the connection was made with the Boston and Providence Railroad. And just up ahead is the exact spot where the Attleboro, North Attleboro line connected to the Boston Providence line at the end of Peck Street. In 1903, the New Haven Railroad Line discontinued its lease with the Attleboro Branch Railroad Line with the addition of the new railroad line between North Attleboro and Adamsdale Junction. At that point, the Attleboro Branch Line was electrified so that streetcars could run on it. This line was known as the Gee Whiz Line. It was discontinued in the 1930s. The second railroad line that passed through North Attleboro was the Rhode Island and Massachusetts Railroad Line. It was established in 1877 and ran between Franklin, Massachusetts and Valley Falls, Rhode Island, passing through the Adamsdale section of North Attleboro. This railroad line was covered in a separate video and can be found on YouTube by searching for it by the title, Franklin, Massachusetts, the Rhode Island and Massachusetts Railroad. The third railroad line that passed through North Attleboro was the Old Colony Railroad Line that ran between Norwood and Attleboro. That railroad line was also covered in a separate video and can be found on YouTube by searching for it by the title Old Colony Railroad Norwood to Attleboro. The fourth railroad line that passed through North Attleboro was the New Haven Line that established a connection between the Old Colony Railroad near the center of North Attleboro and the Rhode Island and Massachusetts Railroad at Adamsdale Junction. It was constructed in 1903. The new railroad line is highlighted in blue. The arrow is pointing to the former Webster Building on Broadway where the connection was made. The red line indicates the Old Colony Line to Attleboro. This picture was taken from the roof of the former Webster building on Broadway. The railroad line that is going to the left is the Old Colony Line and is seen passing under Broadway. The railroad line that is going to the right was the New Haven Line to Adamsdale Junction. This detail shows the line as it crossed Metcalf Road, Ellis Road, and Hoppin Hill Avenue. This 1895 map shows Ellis Road as it ran in a straight line before intersecting with Hoppin Hill Avenue. It also shows the Seven Mile River as it passed through that area before the Hoppin Hill Reservoir was created. When the railroad line was established, a portion of Ellis Road was redirected in order to avoid a grade crossing over Ellis Road. This is a recent map of North Attleboro. It shows today's Ellis Road as it runs straight towards Hoppin Hill Avenue. The blue line shows the exact route that Hoppin Hill Avenue took before the reservoir was created. The section of road over the reservoir and Hickory Road are crossed out as they were added in later years. When the railroad line was established, the portion of Ellis Road was redirected down to a gully where a railroad bridge was added. This was done to avoid the great crossing over Ellis Road. When the railroad line was discontinued, Ellis Road became a straight road again, and the section of the road that went down to the bridge was abandoned. The 
arrow points to Adamsdale Junction, which was the place where the railroad line connected to the Rhode Island and Massachusetts Railroad. Now we'll examine views that were taken from Google Earth. The red arrow is pointing to the former Webster Building on Broadway. The blue line represents the Old Colony Railroad line, while the red line represents the New Haven line to Adamsdale Junction. The blue arrow is where the railroad line passed over Roosevelt Avenue. This is the Webster Building on Broadway, and the train came from this direction from Rentham. And up there is where the tracks were that went off to Adamsdale. And down here is where the tracks were that went under Broadway. Right now, I'm on Roosevelt Avenue. And this is where the train went over Roosevelt Avenue. The river line continues towards Adamsdale Junction. The Amvet School can be seen in the center of the picture. This is where the railroad line passed under Metcalf Road. This is Metcalf Road. And the train went under the bridge and it came from Adamsdale from this direction. And went to North Attleboro Station in this direction. This is where the railroad line crossed over Ellis Road. This is Ellis Road in North Attleboro. What they did is they diverted the road down to this gully, so they put the bridge down there. They did this to avoid a grade crossing off across Ellis Road. But then when the railroad was dismantled, they put the road back here, and that's the way it looks like today. This is where the railroad line passed over Hoppin Hill Avenue. This is Hoppin Hill Avenue in North Attleboro. And this is where the train went over the, the road. Coming from this direction, it was coming from North Attleboro. And going in this direction, went to Adamsdale. And this is where the railroad line passed under Allen Avenue. This is Allen Avenue in North Attleboro. And from this direction, the trains came from North Attleboro. And when they went in this direction, they went towards Adamsdale. The railroad line continues towards Adamsdale Junction. Here is where the railroad line passed over Payne Road in North Attleboro. And this is Payne Road in North Attleboro. And this is where the train went over the road. From this direction, it was from North Attleboro. And going in this direction, it went to Adamsdale. This is where the railroad line crossed over Hunts Bridge Road. This is Huntsbridge Road in North Attleboro, and we're at the corner of Cushman Road. And the train came from this direction when it came from North Attleboro. 
crossed over the road and went towards Adamsdale in this direction. The arrow points to Adamsdale Junction where the railroad line connected to the Rhode Island and Massachusetts Railroad, which is shown in blue. This concludes my presentation on the railroad in North Attleboro. Thanks for watching.